Okay. okay. So we'll, we'll Hi just, guys. Right okay. <laughs> I get up between 3:30 and 4, and unfortunately, I check all my emails because we get tons of emails. We need to be updated for the show, what's happening in the world, right? And we're talking to our producers, um, suggesting chat items, and then I head into work. We have meetings with the producers, uh, hair and makeup. And then the sh we do the show until nine o'clock. We have two post-show meetings. I always wanted to be an actor or a singer, and then I realized I can't do either. And I was class valedictorian, but I didn't think I could parlay that into a career. They had a radio station where you would do your broadcasts, and I was like, this is so cool. I felt like David Silver 90210, you know what I mean? <laughs> Living that dream. And they said, you know, we want you to be Canada's Jillian Barbary. And I loved her because she was just wacky and zany and wild and off the cuff. And, and I really did look up to her. And I figured if, if that's what they want out of me, then this is the right fit. And I can learn and make all my mistakes. I said, I'm not doing any of this stuff. It's going to be so time consuming. I was so reluctant to join any sort of social media. Right. So Twitter was the first thing everybody here got on. It took me three years of them telling me, you got to get on this. You got to... I'm like, why? No, it's gonna consume my life. So then I got on Instagram, and it's funny because I find now that's how people actually engage more, right. rather, you know, whereas Twitter is more, what is that constant stream of information that's coming in and so much gets lost. Right. So Yorkdale's kind enough to dress me every day, and then at the end of the year, we hold this awesome charity event. So all of the clothes you see on BT are discounted by 75% or more. So you can get like this, we'll go for five bucks. You can get a jumpsuit for 20 bucks. Truly, it's like start the car. Start the car, savings. All the proceeds go towards Nanny Angel Network. There's all of these moms out there going through cancer treatment who in no way, shape or form can physically or mentally take care of their children. So the Nanny Angels come in, they do amazing work. They're true angels. I just say be your authentic self because if you're anything else, especially today, we're so fine-tuned to detect somebody who's stilted, who's not being themselves, who's insincere, who's trying to be something else. 